Hello everyone and uh, thank you for joining us on the Force4 live stream today. My name is James Jude Williams, I'm from Force4 Channery and I have with me for this chat James Burt from Total Cool. Hi. Hi James. Um, today we're going to have a chat about all things Total Cool. We're looking at their great range of products from the Total Cool 3000 portable evaporative air cooler, their Total Freeze range of compressor fridge freezers and their Total Power range including their power banks and solar panel. Um, James, again, thank you for joining us today. Uh, live from Dusseldorf, I think. We are, yeah. We're over at the Caravan Salon at the Dusseldorf Messe, which is the largest caravan and motorhome show in Europe. Amazing. Um, I'm sure most of our customers are familiar with some of your products, uh, but for the viewers out there that aren't aren't aware of who Total Cool are or how they came about, can you give us a bit of a bit of a background on Total Cool and where they came from? I can, yeah. Total Cool uh, started in 2016 uh, when we saw a gap in the market for a really good 12 volt and mains powered cooling system, which okay. is when the, the Total Cool 3000 idea was born. We now manufacture that product, I'm proud to say, in Clitheroe in Lancashire, so it's a British made product. We nice. then saw a gap. I mean, we specialize in 12 volt, 24 volt and mains powered systems. So we then saw a gap for more products that are that elk with, with the portability and the 12 volt and mains power systems. So to this day now, we have a range of five very, very strong portable systems. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, to the customers and uh, people out there watching, if you have any questions at any point about any of the total cool range that we go over, feel free to let us know in the live chat. If you're not watching live, um, then you can leave us a question or a comment in the YouTube comments or on our Facebook page and either Force 4 or Total Cool get back to you. Um, James, well, let's get started. Uh, the first few products that I sort of knew about was the Total Cool 3000, sure. enough. Uh, we had a lot of them on display in most of our shops doing a sterling job of keeping the town areas cool. Uh, can you take us through how it works and some of the features? Yeah, so the Total Cool 3000, as I said, is a 12 volt, 24 volt mains powered evaporative cooling system. But it's really, really effective. So you're getting 45% colder air, yeah. over seven meters, but the power draw is extremely low. So you can plug it in on 12 volt, 24 volt, or mains power. Very, very easy to use. You literally put a liter and a half of standard water in, and that okay. will last you 10 to 30 hours, depending on your fan setting. It has four different settings so you can have a nighttime mode nice and quiet or right up to boost and then obviously you're going to feel it um, very very powerfully oh nice um and so it's an evaporative air cool so how does that actually work like what's the the technical side of it the working thing so you're working on ultra slow evaporation so it has a complex filter inside yeah, and designed very specifically to evaporate the water very, very slowly. So you're cooling the air by 45% working on evaporation, but okay. the evaporation is set, it's quite clever. We've got the evaporation rate so slow that you're causing no excess damp, moisture, no, no condensating, nothing like that, but you are just getting cold air. So if you had a room at 30 degrees, James, yeah. you'd be pumping about 16 degrees of cold air over seven meters. That's pretty decent. Um, you mentioned it there as well. It's just tap water. You don't need special water, and, that, and you, there's no no humidity. You know, I, I imagine you know a lot of boats and I suppose caravans as well have a problem or the worry about damp and humidity. This doesn't boost it or cause like it anymore. No, no, not at all. This is why we're so popular. You know, a lot of people think evaporative cooling and they think you know high levels of humidity. It's not the case with the Total Three Thousand at all. Um, you just get cold conditioned. Uh, rather than rather than highly moist air. All oh, right, nice. Um, so, I, my experience of anything like this or similar, obviously, it works differently to air conditioning. But if you had air conditioning, you you seal yourself in, don't you, to to be cool? The, would a user or customer want uh, like to you know keep everything closed while they're using it, or does is it best in a sealed environment? No. Um, Evaporative cooling works the exact opposite to that. So with aircon, mains air conditioning, you have to you have to have it have the air being sucked out, obviously externally. Okay. externally. Uh, where evaporative cooling is good is you can leave the windows hatches open, but it will work more efficiently. What you basically want to do is you want to you want to pump cold air uh, in the room, but you want to be able to expel the hot air naturally. So you've got cold air coming in 
hot um, air going out, so it actually works better ventilated, James. Oh, okay, nice, wicked. Oh, good one. Um, you mentioned earlier it runs on mains. It's 12 and 24 volt, and that's all one model. It's not separate models for each. It's capable of all three. All three. It is. Um, so if you're running it on like your boat battery or a leisure battery, how long would you roughly sort of expect it to last? So on 12, 24 amp mains, it pulls the same power. It's only pulling 0.3 amps on low up to 1.8 amps on full blast. So it's, okay. I mean, it depends on the size of the leisure battery, but you're going to average anything from 70 to 150 hours, depending on the battery. But if you, you know, if you're working on 0.3 to 1.8 amps and you have a hundred amp battery, and you're on mid setting you're pulling about an amp you could easily get 100 hours amazing um i suppose the other panic then for customers if you're running it off your battery is it gonna kill it like how long you, you no. said about hours but is that like 100 yeah, no, hours is dead no it won't it won't kill it james quite the opposite i mean it's quite clever so it has an auto voltage cutout system for people that are putting it on an ignition battery so it will always automatically cut out if it was obviously if your battery is getting too low to crank the engine yeah but we also do uh, a total power range which we'll talk about i'm sure after uh, this can actually run our total call 3000 in fact all our products are designed to work in sync with each other so you can actually run this off an independent lithium battery like the total like the total power range and yeah. then you're not even having to use your leisure battery oh, amazing um that's like the battery shut off thing that's like well clever i suppose again got to be reassuring for a user out there knowing that you can you can have this run and then when it cuts out that's not your battery dead it's just yeah it's it's saving you so you can get things going or start or keep you know you, you, you're still there to keep going and get home well, um, there's nothing there's nothing worse than a flat battery so <laughs> that's the way out of the um i know force four sell some of the spares we keep like the spare pads and um I think yeah spare pads mainly is there like what's the warranty or what and i i think there is a great range of extras that go with it as well isn't there? there is so yeah we have a total accessory range in the 3000 the total 3000 for instance you have um the complex filter which i explained they last a year and you do get a spare one with your unit um, okay but they can obviously be purchased after that so after two years you can purchase things like yeah your uh, your evaporative cooling pads we also do um a total fresh british made uh, um, essential oils range this is really good this is really good for the boaters because you can actually drop essential oils into the water in the cooling system okay and, it, uh, and obviously fragrant the air but a lot of customers will use antibacterial products for health reasons and what is in that pack in the total fresh pack is a bottle of citronella now for boaters james it's unbelievable four or five drops of citronella in that unit mm. no more flies mosquitoes midges literally anywhere <laughs> It's that good, James. You can use it on deck, outside while you're dining. No more mosquitoes. It is that good. Amazing. Well, I was going to say, I suppose most things you'd think of like that are kind of passive, but that sounds like pretty active. That's, yeah, I, I quite yeah. like that. Idea. Well, you're pumping um, it seven meters, so you really are getting uh, getting it out yeah. there. Nice. Wicked. Um, well, yeah, yeah, the total for 3000 sounds great. Uh, let's move on then to uh, the next range of products that we again i think we've done a video on we've had athena in one of our stores talking about them and that's the total freeze range of portable compressor fridge freezers um, yes. yeah, can you give us a breakdown on those i can so as you said yeah they're uh, the total freeze range has a 35 liter a 45 and a 55 liter in the range they are all compressor driven fr portable fridge freezers once again like everything we do they are 12 24 volt and mains power and low power draw the nice thing impressive thing about the total freeze range is the fact that you will be able to go down to minus 20 so it'll work as a deep freeze you'll go you'll go down as low as minus 20 but it's dual zone so you can either have it as one large fridge you know you can go up to plus 20 to minus to you could be you know at fridge temperature four degrees say or you can have your freezer compartment and there is a section here um it, when we look at the pictures there is a section at the rear here where you can see the butter I can, um, yeah, yeah. this section will never freeze so it's very clever you, you, your freezer compartment could be at minus 20 um but your fridge section won't freeze so things like milk butter whatever you want in there and then you can have everything else frozen or like i said like that illustration is showing you can have it as one big fridge oh amazing no that's really good 
Um, so I know the temperature of some of these uh, uh, cool boxes are affected by the um, ambient temperature like of the outside. Is this the case with these? Sure, no, not at all. Uh, that's that's more like your standard um, thermoelectric, your, your kind of cheaper range of cool boxes. Yeah. You no, know, the toll freeze range works on a compressor. So no matter what your ambient is, if you're at 30, 40 degrees, you can achieve minus 20 if you wish. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I've and seen then, actually that we've uh, had Derek come in quickly. And I'm just, I'm just interested to see if there's plans for the future. He's bought one of the 45 litre fridge freezers from Plymouth. Very pleased with it. Thinks it's incredible. Um, just wondering if there's any plans to do a model with casters or wheels on the back, uh, just to add to a bit of portability. No, James. Um, we obviously uh, we do a lot of research and development when uh, branding a product like Total Freeze. The problem with your wheeled compressor fridge freezers, compressors aren't really designed to be wheeled. So you've two issues. You've one, everything we sell has a two-year warranty, but we yeah. expect everything we sell to way outlast its warranty. Of course, we want ten years plus out of these products, fifteen years. They're built to last. If you put wheels on a compressor. Um, when it's portable, it means you're going to drag it. You're going to you, what what happens is you get a lot of vibration, and the compressors then do not tend to last as long. Your I other think. problem with the, with wheels is you are making the whole thing bigger. So a lot of people want to put these in tight spaces. Yeah, but obviously you can't do that with wheels. Okay. Plus the fact the Total Freeze range is designed also to sit on and use as a table. It has cup holders. Uh, if you've got wheels on, you're going to kind of wheel away. <laughs> Spare point well made. Yeah. Um, you've mentioned like, well, the entire total cool range, the 3000, the total freeze, everything else. It runs off of 12 and 24 and mains power. Again, like the total cool 3000, what you, what's your sort of runtime you're expecting off of a leisure battery, your boat battery or something like that? So the total freeze is very, very well manufactured. Um, it, it's, it has an eco mode. So if you plug it into 12 volts, you can go as low as 30 to 34 watts. Okay. So yeah, you're only, you know you're only pulling very low power, and even on on maximum mode, you're only pulling around 40 watts. So yeah. very low, you know. On um, even on our total power 500, which is a 500 watt battery, that's 40 amps. You you could you could get on that little portable battery, you will get over two days, 48 hours of runtime. The other nice thing about it, as I said, the manufacturing process is so well thought out that um, the insulation in there. Will, it's that good you'll get eight to ten hours unplugged so if you are going let's say you're not at the boat and you want to go down the beach or you're camping and you're not anywhere near power and you don't have one of our total power products you can unplug this get it down to temperature and eight to ten hours later it will still be cold yeah so i suppose like uh like you say if you're um van life in or you, you you're going away for the weekend or the day you could have it running overnight off the mains at your house Know that you unplug it in the morning you've got the whole day and some keeping it cool and things like that that's it yeah absolutely but like i said once plugged into a power source like a leisure battery it's pulling very little power in, in comparison to other models you know that are on the market all right sweet um i think you mentioned as well it also has a two-year warranty so that's quite good uh yeah, anything else you want to say about Total Freeze? I think we've covered most of it there. I think we've got most of it down there. Um, yeah, it has a digital display on the front, so it's very plug and play. You know, you've even got a you've even got a smart monitor in there, so if you're plugging it into a leisure battery and you're not near your control panel or you, you're near the Total Freeze, it actually shows you what power it's using. It, it, it'll show you, yeah, what power it's at, what power is left in your battery. So you can monitor the whole thing. You just literally set it to temperature, and it will flash and it'll reach desired temperature. I mean, you can go down to minus 20 within 20 minutes, half an hour. It's that That's amazing. And also, like the 3000, James, it has the Volti, smart Volti cutoff system. So you're never going to leave yourself high and dry. You're not going to run out. You're not going to be able to get going again after that if you're running it off your cranking battery or something. Exactly right, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, again, great great product for boaters, great product for van lifers, anyone like that. If you haven't got loads of battery power, you know you're not going to kill yourself and leave yourself stranded. That's um, it. You mentioned when we're talking about the Total Freeze and the Total Cool 3000 that they're both uh, capable of being run off the Total Power 500, which is the lithium ion battery pack. So, can you, yeah, just take talk to us about that? Because this product, I think, is 
genius it's so clever there's so much tech in it that yeah i don't think it, people necessarily understand no well it, it, yeah it's a very very clever well thought out product once again yeah it's a 500 watt they talk about 500 yeah 500 watt 40 amp inverter lithium ion battery so what you get there is you get 500 watts of power to store using as a battery yeah. you also have a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter so right. if we look at the picture that i think is about to come up on the screen yeah on there you, on on the front control panel oh, there, yeah. Yeah, there it is you have wireless charging on the top so you can throw your phone in there and charge your phone very easily nice you have four usb sockets two with fast charge once again fast charging for things like ipads and phones you have two jack points in there so you can put extenders for the 12 volt in or you can once again put laptops and such you have a 12 volt socket so it's great because for us obviously it runs the total cool family of products you can run total cool 3000 for way over 50 to 100 hours depending on the fan the settings fan speed and stuff amazing yeah you can run the total freeze james for 48 hours at minus 20 with this battery plugged into the 12 volts but what's clever about this it also has a 300 watt inverter built in so anything under 300 watts on mains power if you're struggling for power you can use on this so charging laptops lighting hair straighteners things that are anything that pulls under 300 watts plug into the mains so basically this is just perfect backup power so you don't have to worry about running up running out of power because you have the backup here on the back um it has a huge torch and so you've got three settings on the torch so if you were if you had a huge problem with your power and it's the night and it's dark you can literally go up to this thing hit the torch light comes on you can see what you're doing you can start getting your power back plugging things into it so it's very 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 clever yeah no that's amazing um obviously you can charge it at home from the mains because it's you know it's a battery pack you get once you've used it we're going to charge it up can you also charge it like 12 volt or from your boat or whatever as well yeah james it, it has three different forms of charging that comes with it so you you've, yeah you've got like you quite rightly said mains power charging so around seven hours on the mains so you charge okay. it overnight okay. it comes with 12 hour charging so that, that would take about eight to nine hours but it's great as a backup so if it's only you know half charged and you forget to give, give it a charge you can charge this while you're driving or it'll take power from the boat in the 12 volt sockets yeah and it also comes with mc4 solar cables so you can plug a solar that has as the standard solar leads into this and it will also charge cleverly via the solar so if you have a bit of sunshine then you you, you pretty much have infinite power here infinite portable power we also do the total call the total solar 100 which is basically designed to charge this battery and our top power 144 the smaller version of this amazing um and uh, like you said there it's got the inverter in it it's uh mains power i think the picture showed euro sockets which i think we do it has, it has free pin sockets for the uk and there is a euro version as well isn't there yeah you can see, yeah we, we sell both um both yeah, but, yeah, but normally in the uk you're looking at the uk sockets unless ordered specifically with european sockets on but yeah we have stock of both yeah so to be i mean it's that it's not like a i think i've ha held one that's not like super chunky but it's got loads of features in it what sort of weight are we talking about for that there so the nice thing is you know everybody thinks batteries and they're thinking like right, your leisure battery so heavy 6.5 kg it has handles on the top so it, it's there you know for, for a battery it's very lightweight like again the emphasis on portable because really, again the, you, you think we worry about a the amount of things it can run how it runs and the length of it and the amount of parrots and there you're going to be lugging around like you say 10 15 kilos worth of leisure battery so of course no the handles fold up you, you you cart it off the boat if you want to give it a charge you know away from the boat put it back on it stores very smartly it's only very small and square um so yeah it's perfect for storing and it is literally essentially it's just perfect backup power uh, to stop you having to worry if you know if you're on anchor off marina you know you're camping it, it, it's just you've got that backup then no i like it i like it i think it's i think it's a great product that as i said james no it, it takes a bit of explaining for people to truly understand what's part of it so i've yeah i think and again the 
the synchronicity of the total power being able to run the total pool 3000 to run the total freezers yeah I, i'm a big fan of that one i think it's really good yeah i think lastly on that james one good thing is you can it has a smart display on the front and you can literally monitor the power usage so it has it, it has obviously a battery display showing you what power and how much charge is in your battery yep. but it also shows you exactly what you're pulling on the dc yeah and it shows you exactly what you're pulling on the on the ac so you can always see you can regulate your power as you plug things into it you can regulate that power so you if you are trying to be power saving you can yeah. think, right, i'm going to plug the tv into it today and not take you know power out of my boat battery and you can see what it's pulling so you will always have that that, that nice very easy display to work off no brilliant i love it um i think you also mentioned when talking about the total free something else you do the total power 144 so much the same but smaller much the same yeah force four have this on our stand there it is on the screen so yeah um this is it, it's a it's very similar it's a power bank it obviously it doesn't have an inverter like the 500 it's it's obviously a lot smaller in fact that only weighs 0.85 kg oh, but what's yeah. unusual about this power is it's fully water resistant which is yeah. unusual um quality wise it is second to none it has three usbs in it one with fast charge but what you don't see much on a power bank of that size is a 12 volt socket so nice. this, has, this has a 12 volt socket and once again will run all our products so like it, it, would, it would run a total cool 3000 cooling system five to 15 hours depending on the fan speed you can run you could even run the total freeze at minus 20 for a good four to five hours if you needed that extra backup and obviously great for charging phones it has a huge bright camping torch on it it has an sos uh, flashing red beacon if you get into oh, that's the really handy for boaters and stuff yeah. Though. yeah it is and then you have a little led system on the front that tells you exactly how much charge in the battery but i think where you win with this is it's portable and water resistant with that 12 volt socket on um so it's a it's it's a very good good product no no i like that as well and like you say capable of running the total cool and total freeze range total cool you mentioned how long do you reckon you get for a total freeze for it sorry i might have missed that so, so the total freeze yeah you would you would get at least four or five hours at minus 20 and then of course with the total freeze staying cold for up to eight hours you know you're covered for a, a day a long long day or even a day and a night if you're clever with when you leave it on yeah no wicked um and charging wise much like the total power as well uh 12 volt mains so no, this one just because it's a quick charge this one just comes with the mains charger so this okay. is the four hour charge plug it straight into the mains and then take it with you wicked i get i just it's the joy of like again how you thought about all of these products working together so you can either add to your you can start somewhere and add and just expand the life of them i think it's really great you can't sorry um, i forgot to mention the um the, it's quite new to us um the total solar 100 but we have now have the total solar 100 developed so it charges the total power 500 but it also will charge the 144 so there is an option there to have that thing charging by solar and charging on the main okay wicked well that actually brings us neatly on to so you've mentioned it about the 500 and i think you could said you could run some of the other products over it the total solar 100 your solar panel um again let's just start at the top take take us through that give us a bit of a background on some of the features and what it can do sure so the total solar 100 is 100 watt foldable flexible solar panel so basically it works on some power cells so you've got that quality and efficiency that you really need in a solar because james there's so much rubbish on the market um and when we brought this in it, we, we had it through very rigorous testing to make sure that this was pulling what it should pull in the sunshine and so many don't you know and that's why there's such a huge price fluctuation with solar um so the total solar 100 yeah it folds into its own very small briefcase it's got a handle it's completely portable but if you put that thing out you know you can get anything from 80 to 90 watts off that in full sunshine so charging things like that total power 500 in full sun you can charge that in eight to nine hours so it's very impressive it also comes with a usb socket on it um and a type c the new type c connector so okay, you're yeah. charging phones but also putting power back into your total power range nice so you mentioned like charges phones charges the total power 500 and the 144 uh, I suppose a lot of our customers predominantly using solar panels to charge or top up their batteries. Um, 
is the total solar can that do that as well so what you need for that um, is a is a solar regulator so then you would buy a solar regulator which we will have coming out in 222 so okay. um, you can obviously other models are available and you, <laughs> could it, you could put it through a solar regulator and then yeah and then obviously charge char, you know charge up the boat batteries charge caravan motorhomes whatever you decide to charge so it can be done um, yep. but we'll be we'll be launching total own version of that at some point early 20 2022 all right sweet um and the main the big question we get asked about solar panels in the stores generally is a question of durability flex and things like that i mean how what how how suited to like a marine or a boat environment would you say the total solar is is it water resistant things like that it's probably as good as it gets you're working on some power cells so you don't have that worry of cracking cells and things like that uh, longevity wise like us like i said all our products it's got a two-year warranty but we expect them to last way beyond that so now this thing can be hung hung um you know on the boat and you don't have to worry about it getting a little bash so we'll see what it it's, it's not a problem it's a very robust and rugged product brilliant i mean i like to say all right we we obviously had a conversation about this last week to work out what we're gonna like how to talk about it and i just was blown away by the synchronicity i think you used the word yourself about the fact that this range is designed to work with each other wherever you are it can expand i mean you could be boating camping uh wild camp you could be van life you can just add a whole level of portable power and like don't know the right word like create like comfort to whatever you're doing with this rain yeah it's it basically it's trying to make the whole journey easier isn't it you know if you have things like this that some of them are a luxury but you know you want to be cool but you don't want to pull the power you want to be able to have cold drinks or, or frozen food and then you need to power it all which is where the, you know the lithium ion batteries come into play in the solar panels so we've just tried we have a very nice tight range of a family of total cool products they all work together as i said that they they all can be added to so if you have one product you want another you know you can add that in um so yeah it's just we're all about portable and low power products and um yeah we, we think it's a fantastic range you know we're here at the like i said the caravan cell on it it'd be wet, very well, well received here so um yeah um, it's been a good year we've been very very busy obviously the leisure market as you'll know over at force four is <laughs> very very good yeah. um so yeah we're just excited about the future brilliant um we got another question from derek regarding his uh total freeze he says there's a bluetooth symbol on the front of the 45 liter fridge screen um, and you can't see any reference to it in the manual. Is there something that he's missing or is it to link to the power pack or what's the Bluetooth symbol for? On that? No, Derek, no, you know, you're quite right. There is uh, no, we are working at the moment on a really, really good total cool app. Um, okay. So the Bluetooth, I mean, we don't advertise it with Bluetooth for this reason, because the app is in production. Um, but the app will be available once again, about 2022 early on. Um, but when that launches, you will, that model you have, any models we're selling now, will obviously be, be able to work with the app and you'll be able to sit in bed, have a cup of tea and check your, your total freeze is cold, turn it on, <laughs> turn it off. And we're just trying to make life easy for you, Derek. Streamline it. Brilliant. No, I love it. Um, I'm going to, I'm guessing that uh, if any of the people watching live or watching afterwards, uh, are you going to be at Southampton Boat Show? They're going to be able to see your products there. Come and have a chat with you at Southampton. Yeah, James, we're in Ocean Hall there. Uh, we have two stands, one dedicated to the Total Call 3000, and they're next door to each other, and the other one is dedicated to all the other products as well as the 3000. Um, and I think it's very near the Force 4 stand, but I would have to I would have to check. But I'm pretty okay. sure year on, year on year we're all pretty close to each other in that Ocean Hall okay nice um james uh this has been an amazing chat is there anything that you feel like we've missed out we haven't spoken about i feel like we've pretty much covered everything i think we got it james you know i think um, this, you know this this is this is the range and um it's been fun talking to you from germany and, uh, <laughs> you know i've just i literally had to pull off doing the stand build with the guys so they're all looking at me now thinking 
they're all thinking, when do we get to finish and go out to eat? But uh, <laughs> I've been able to Sky for a good half an hour. So, so uh, I thank you and all your watchers for that opportunity. No, brilliant. I think, like I said, you've handled it well. It's a great range. It's all 12, 24 mains powered, two-year warranties across the board. I, like I say, I, I think it's great. I love it. I love the synchronicity and everything else. Um, no worries. No, thank you again. Thank you for coming to talk to us from Dusseldorf and put like getting through battling through some of the struggles. It's been brilliant. It's my pleasure, and uh, you know, Malvida Zane. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone out there that's uh, tuned in for this chat, either live or watched it afterwards. I'd like to send a thank you to Elise, our producer, working behind the scenes, getting the pictures up for you. Brilliant work there. Um, my name's James. It's been from Force Four on our live stream. We'll see you next time.